Nah, bear with me here because I have a lot of fucking lines. <laughs> so, Microsoft. You can see it on the bottom of my screen. Right there. That red line. That was a line I found days and days ago. So. You can see right here it basically happened overnight. Overnight it shot up to here. So this is a little bit of a gap up. So you went from a low of 342 and then the very next morning it shot up to 349.22 so this is my red line I just drew it drew it here because that's where the gap started so basically all I do is when I make these charges I just go back in time you know and see where thing, where things gapped up so if you keep looking like it touched this line again so this is like bears or people trying to short below this this point because there was such a massive jump in an hour. So you see it touches here and then today in the morning it touched here again. So let me go to the 15 minute. So you see on the 15 minute today, right there, it hit right around our line. But I looked yesterday, and I like to see what a stop is the previous day. Just to, because sometimes stops can do similar things from day to day. So you see this morning, it went up to a hourly support touched it and it came all the way back down to that red line so I saw it did that yesterday <clears throat> so this morning I waited and it just right at the open gap down big gap down 345.95 all the way down to 342 59 you know, tried making a recovery and then somebody shorted it right back down to that red line. And once I saw we were at that red line, I picked up calls. Because I saw, like I just showed you yesterday, that it never went below that red line. Now today, it kind of just took the fuck off. Like, there wasn't much volume. You know, it was steadily building up. I was looking for it to get back up. I can't help. Back up to this opening where this, where this level right here, the top of this red candle. That red candle right there at the uh, where the blue line is, going horizontal. That's where I was looking for action to go up to. So you can see um, a couple of my green lines and my arrows. Well, let me take you here. A couple of my hourly supports. You know, one right here. Um, one here across it. So, then the, the next 15 minute candle, I got above that support. Next 15 minute candle, I got to the support and closed above it. And then it started making its way down. Let's go to the two. See where the move happened. So I bought right around in here. And then, you know, it kind of just did its thing. 
I wasn't really too worried because this blue, blue line here is a daily support. So I was holding, 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 holding. You know, then it started to break down. And one thing I did notice before I show you this <clears throat> was yes, yesterday at about the 1215 candle that starts at noon and that's kind of when it peaks and I also saw at 11.30 kind of flattened out but that starts at 11.15 so I was looking for a move potentially again around that same time and right at the 11.30 it flattened out Right after that fucking thing is a big ass green candle. And <clears throat> I was only looking for a few dollar move, but that's when the, the press release was for the the charge of the thirty dollar monthly charge for the AI shit. So if that makes sense, let me know. If not, um, let me know if you have any questions.